everyone and welcome to class of SDN in 5G. Today in this class we will discuss about the role of software defined networking in 5th generation. Now software defined networking is designed to make networks more flexible and agile. That means we can use SDN concepts in the 5th generation so that we, we can make our networks more flexible. Now, SDN was originally defined as an approach. That means here we can design, build and manage network. So, this is an approach to design, build and manage networks. This is an approach so that we can design, we can build, we can manage the network and it separates out the control and the forwarding plane. So, how it designed by separating by separating out the, the control and the forwarding planes. Now, it enables network control to become directly programmable. That means control is completely programmable and the underlying infrastructure to be abstracted for new applications and network services. So, SDN is redefining the network architecture so that it can support the various requirements of fifth generation. Now, if we talk about the fifth generation, SDN as fifth generation software defined networking. So, it provides an intelligent architecture for network programmability as well as it provides an intelligent architecture for network network programmability as well as it can create the multiple network hierarchy. As well as the creation of multiple network hierarchies. Now let's discuss about this more. So, this one as middle box, middle box for example, this one as firewall, firewall. Now, this one traditional network this one has a traditional uh, network which is embedded with uh, distributed cloud and a middle box now we have 
forwarding device with embedded control here and a here also a next device so this is like we require to use hdn in fifth generation now how it works this one has a traditional network and it is connected to the middle boxes and forwarding control now here in sdn that means whenever we are going to use the sdn network in the fifth generation so here we require a controller and the controller is like sdn controller So this now this architecture is of for SDN network. So we require a SDN controller where we are having a software control. Now this is connected. Now here, these are the forwarding device with decoupled control. Forwarding device with decoupled control. Now these are connected. This one as uh, this is forwarding device. So this is complete SDN network with decoupled control because all the control of these forwarding devices is with the SDN controller. So this is about like SDN in 5G, how uh, software control will help in 5th generation. Thank you so much.